my name is Rebecca, and I'm here to show you how to create uh, your Etsy banner using a free program called Canva. It's online on the internet, free. Mm, you can pay for extra services, but if you go to canva.com, it'll ask you to sign up for an account. And then once you've signed up, you'll come to this screen here. Yours won't have all this stuff down here at the bottom. This is just because I, I use Canva a lot, <laughs> as you can see. Um, so basically, to create an Etsy banner. You can use your own custom dimensions, but they have a template all made out for you here. You can see they have some other ones, social media, Facebook covers. Those are very useful, but we want Etsy banners. So we're going to have to go to more and scroll down a lot. Here we are. So once you click on the type of image you want to create, it will open up in a new tab. And it's going to take my little minute here. My internet's kind of going slow here this evening, and I'm running this screen capture program at the same time. So, uh, all right, we're loaded up. So when it loads, it's going to show you your Etsy banner on the right side here. This is all blank and ready for you to fill out. And then on the left side, you've got these little tabs that search layout elements. Um, you can search for different items you want. So like if you know you want to add in a picture of a ball of yarn or something, you can search for that here. Go to layouts. These are pre-formatted ones. And if you're just getting started, this might be a really good place to start. So we'll come back here in just a moment. Uh, elements has different types of things you can add in. If you're looking for some clip art, you can probably go to icons. If you want a nice big circle to write some text on, you'd go to shapes, things like that. Text, we're going to come back to in a little bit as well. It's got some really pretty pre-formatted text elements ready for you to just drag in and customize. Pretty nice. Uh, backgrounds, so you can pick different colors, different items here. Again, some are free, some are paid, but I believe most of them are only like a, here a dollar. So, you know, I usually go with a free one. You can choose. There's also this upload section where you can add your own images in. So you can upload files from your computer and place them right into your image here. Now, to get started today, I'm going to show you just the very easiest way possible to create an Etsy banner, which is to go to the layout section, because Canva has these beautiful layouts all pretty much ready to go. So what we're going to do is we're going to grab a free one that looks okay. Let's just pick this guy here. And when you click on this, it's going to load up on the right side of the screen eventually. <laughs> there we go. All right. So now that this is loaded, we can completely customize everything in it. Obviously, my shop's not in uh, Paint and Create. So let me just type in something here. There we go. So got my name. I'll just type in something for a tagline. Something easy for now. Now, if you want to format this text, move it around, rotate it, you have lots of different options in Canva for now. We're just going to drag this over. Anytime you get this little four headed arrow, you can drag your text around. And they have these nice little guidelines. You can see as I move this around, it's kind of showing you is it even with the text? Is it even with um, the rest of your image here? It'll show you if you're in the middle, if you're near the borders it's it's really kind of handy so now that we've got that position there so maybe we want to change that font you can just come up here grab another font and it'll update your text for you pretty easy now this image i don't know about you guys i think it's kind of ugly so <laughs> let's go over and grab a different background for this now we can pick again one of canva's basic backgrounds. A lot of them might be kind of plain. Or let's see if they've got anything else nice looking here. We can go into elements and sometimes they have some nice little dotted backgrounds for the holidays. We can pull over something striped. And if you pull this over and it doesn't go into the background right away, make it big enough. And then 
come in here and click this back button. It's not like the back button in your browser. It's sending it back. Think of it kind of like setting a table. You know, you don't want your tablecloth on top of your plates. So you just push this back behind your text. And you can see how this kind of comes right in front of my, uh, my wording now. Uh, and then, you know, if you wanted to add in some other elements, like let's say some clip art or something, you can come in here. You can grab different icon sets. Obviously, we, I don't want a light bulb, but for the sake of showing you guys how this works, let me just drag one in. You can either drag it in and leave it where you want or just click on one and it'll center it for you. So either option works. Once you've got these clip art elements in here, uh, most of them you can change the color of. You know, you come right in here. It'll show you the colors from your background image, which is really helpful to make you match everything on your page. Um, you can resize it. And again, you see those grid lines pop up. So, oh, okay, it's even with my text. <laughs> it's actually very helpful when you're designing things. You can rotate them. And of course, if you hate them, you can delete them. <clears throat> All right. So that's the basics of adding elements. Um, your images like your own images, your own product images, you can upload in the upload section, either from your computer or from Facebook. So if you wanted to add, like say some product you created, you could put in your product photos over here. So you can see it's really quite versatile. You can do a lot of things just with this one little app. All right, so let me show you real quick then Obviously, this isn't quite done, but I think you get the idea. Uh, here's how you download it so that you can actually use it in your Etsy shop. You go to download, and I usually just use image for web because these images are already so small that we don't really need a high quality. So you go to image for web. It saves your design. Might take just a minute here. But then it'll go straight into your downloads folder, and it'll be ready for you to use. All right, when you get this message, you can see here it is. If I double click on it, there we are. And it's that easy. Once you've got that, you can just upload it to your Etsy shop and you are ready to go. Hope that's helpful. I will probably stop back at some point and show you some more cool features with Canva, but I hope this was a good start. Enjoy.